Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. We've decided in the office to each month, um, myself and Emily and even Dr. Benson, we're going to do a recipe of the month to help our patients continue to have amazing health throughout the summer and that you don't have to feel like that you're suffering or missing out on anything that everyone else is eating. So the recipe that I decided to focus on was one of my favorites. I actually make it throughout the year, but especially in the summer grilling season. And what I love about this recipe is that um, I'm kind of in this journey on my own. Um, my husband does um, partake in some of my meals, um, but a lot of the foods I eat, uh, none of my family um, participates with that. Um, this is the healthy baked beans recipe. And I make this all the time. And everyone, including my adult children, uh, my teenage stepdaughters, um, and my grandson, who's a year old, everyone loves this recipe. No one complains when I make it. They all love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up here. I'm gonna have recipes. I'll have it in the office too. But I know everybody likes to jot it down um, and look at the recipe. Um, but like I said, I will have this in the office. I'll have copies of it. So if anybody wants it, um, see us at the front desk. Uh, so this is an amazing recipe. Um, I love our new local Kroger's. They carry a lot of the products just right there in the store. Uh, one of a couple amazing things in this recipe is the black beans and the um, pinto beans. The cans at Kroger's are actually, if you guys see down here, they're um, BPA free, uh, USDA organic, um, and they're also non-GMO. That's the black beans, and then here's the pinto beans, and as you can see, same thing, they have the uh, organic, um, non-GMO, and then the BPA-free uh, BPA cans. Um, so what I've done is I've already went ahead and uh, you'll throw those beans in a strainer and rinse them. I rinse them for about five minutes and let those drain out. And then over here on the stove, I've sauteed um, a whole onion and coconut oil with um, two garlic cloves. It actually calls for, I think, like a couple teaspoons of minced garlic, but in my house, you can never have too much garlic. So we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna continue on with the recipe. So as you can see, I have it all here in my pan. I'll bring my phone a little bit closer. You guys will have to bear with me. This is my first video ever. So we're gonna come over here and as you can see, I have my um, sauce pan and I have um, the, two, the three cans of beans in there. And then I have a whole onion that has sauteed and then two garlic cloves. Next, what I'm gonna do is add the tomato sauce, which is also in my BP Free A can and it's um, non-GMO and organic. Um, next, what I'm gonna add after that is it calls for a fourth cup of water. So as you see, I'm just gonna pour that in there. Three tablespoons of the liquid rags. If you guys don't have this in your home, you need to get it. This is amazing. Um, I go through these quite often. Uh, grilling season, I put it on all of our burgers, steaks, chicken. In fact, I have chicken marinating in the refrigerator now. Um, it's chicken breast marinating with um, apple cider vinegar, liquid rags, some garlic powder, onion powder, uh, and then I squeezed a whole lemon on there. You can use liquid rags. Um, for almost everything, but a big thing that it replaces is it replaces soy sauce. So it's an amazing ingredient, uh, amazing product, and I highly recommend everyone have this in their refrigerator. Uh, so it calls for, I think it's three tablespoons. Yep, three tablespoons. So we're gonna do three tablespoons of that. One, two, three. Get some light on the subject here. Um, next, what it's gonna call for is three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Another great product that I highly recommend, your Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar, and then you wanna make sure it says with the mother. Um, I go through a lot of this. Um, I drink it sometimes in the morning. Um, again, I marinate with it. Um, there's some good recipes on the side for drinks, energy drinks. Um, another great product that Every single one of our patients should make sure they have this in their refrigerator as well. And so it calls for three tablespoons of that. One, two, three. All right, perfect. 
we got that. Did the garlic. Um, the next ingredient is going to be a tablespoon of black strap molasses. Another amazing ingredient. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, you want to make sure it says black strapped um, molasses. Plantation is the brand here. Um, I also got this at our Kroger. Um, you know, molasses is one of those things I really don't use a lot of it. Um, I don't recommend using a lot of it, but it's amazing for this recipe. And if you have to use um, molasses, you want to make sure it's the black strap molasses. So it does call for one tablespoon of the black strap molasses. So what this is going to do is this is going to add your sweetener. As many of us know, or may, maybe you don't know, um, traditional baked beans, um, all the baked beans you pick up in the store, I recommend looking the next time, but all the baked beans that you buy in the store have tons of sugar in them. Um, they, they have sugar in them. Most of us, how I grew up is, I always grew up making homemade baked beans. I guess you called them homemade, but I bought the canned version, and then I added ketchup, mustard, onion, bacon, and then believe it or not, another cup of sugar. So that's what we want to make sure we're staying away from is all the sugars. So with this recipe, it has the black strap molasses, only a tablespoon, so they're still kind of sweet, um, but they also have an amazing barbecue flavor. Um, so from there, we're going to do a teaspoon of stevia. You guys all should know about the stevia by, by now. Yes, I still have the original stevia that we were selling in the office, but I do recommend the new little black one. I'm just getting this used up. Um, but a stevia, again, is another part of the sweetener and the baked beans. Stevia is one of the only things that, that does not raise our blood sugar. So um, a good for diabetics, um, definitely make sure that we're using stevia. So it only calls for a teaspoon of the stevia. Sometimes I add a little less. Um, I always go a little light on my sweetener. It costs, calls for um, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Sorry, I didn't have that out. Um, this is what I use is the fine ground um, Celtic sea salt. So I'm kind of uh, one of those that sometimes I measure, sometimes I don't. But for this one, I'll actually kind of measure and just put a little bit of salt in there for the, um, for the baked beans. Um, next, what we're going to do is cumin powder. Another ingredient I forgot to get out. So cumin is so, so important. In fact, I hope I have cumin powder. After I started this, I may have used it all. Cumin powder is amazing. I make my own homemade um, taco seasoning, and it calls for the cumin powder. And you know what? I don't think I have any cumin powder. But it only calls for a half a teaspoon, so guess what? Sorry, folks, I'm going to skip out on that. But I believe it's still going to taste amazing. Now it calls for one and a fourth teaspoons of chili powder. I get my chili powder from um, Costco, so it just kind of comes in a big bag, and you're going to put one and a fourth teaspoons of the chili powder. That's what kind of gives it like a little bit of a, um, I don't know, it's kind of a Mexican kind of flavor, or kind of a barbecue type flavor. Um, last but not least, um, nope, there's a couple more ingredients. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then a fourth teaspoon of cayenne powder. So get my um, onion powder out here. We're gonna do a half of a teaspoon. There's that. And then last but not least, we cannot leave out, I love cayenne pepper. So it just calls for about a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I like mine a little spicier, so that's up to you if you wanna add a little more. Um, I'm actually gonna put about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay. So I'll turn my oven on or my stove on here. All you do is mix that all up. As you guys can see, it actually just kind of mixes up and stirs up and looks just like baked beans. Here we go. I'll kind of show you guys a picture. Oh, um, but there's the um, the beans, and they just spilled out. Um, but that's what they look like. And what I continue to do is just stir them for about five minutes on the stove. After that, I'm gonna put them in the oven on 350, and I let them bake for about a half hour. Um, not because anything really needs baked or cooked, but um, I just like how the edges kind of caramelize up a little bit, and it just helps our, um, just helps the baked beans taste amazing. So see how simple that was, everybody? Um, again, welcome to my kitchen. Um, it's a pretty basic, 
simple kitchen. Um, but I love cooking in my kitchen every day. Um, I have my Vitamix here. As you guys can see, there's my Vitamix. Um, I've used it this morning, so my container is dirty. But um, I love fresh flowers in my kitchen. Um, I pick them out of a local field. Um, just, just do things that make you happy. On my closet door here, this is my pantry door. Um, I have two little sayings there um, to keep myself smiling every day. One of them is start each day with a grateful heart and it has a little flower on it. And then the other one is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we all can do things um, that we thought we couldn't do. I never thought I could eat healthy. I was one of those people that ate fast food, uh, worked at Honda for 20 years. I pulled in a drive through probably three to four days a week. On my way to work, I picked up um, the Hostess cupcake things and drank a Diet Coke. That's what I eat probably three to four or five days a week on my way to work. A lot of times on my way home from work to stop to get gas, um, I would have picked up a Diet Coke and a bag of um, some kind of like potato chips, barbecue chips or something, and snacked on that on my way home. I love to bake, so no doubt that some days I would come home, I would um, bake chocolate chip cookies or make brownies. I was always baking things all the time. And a lot of times that's all I would do is just um, eat those things for my lunch or for my dinner. So I know if I could change, I know you guys can. I've been on this journey now for um, a little over probably four years now. I've been pretty strict with my diet. Um, and I guess I use the word strict, but I don't even think of it as being strict anymore. I, I love the food that I make, just like the healthy baked beans. Um, I'm getting ready to put uh, the marinated chicken I talked about on the grill. I have some steaks laid out for my husband and for my son. Um, so it's amazing. Um, I have some bananas over there that are kind of getting ripened. I'm going to make banana nut muffins. Um, that's another recipe we can get to you guys. But just enjoy it. Have fun. Um look recipes up online and if it calls for something we're not allowed to have um, learn how to change it learn how to use stevia instead of sugar um, you know just replace those products that you know aren't healthy for us so I'm glad you guys all joined me today for our healthy baked bean recipe make sure you guys make them I'm gonna be asking you guys about it um, and then coming up yes you guys see our signs in the office dinner is back we're gonna have dinner at Boston's restaurant here in Marysville. Uh, just decided that why not go to a popular place that people love. Um, and we'll do our best to try to find um, some clean, healthy meals there. But please, please invite your neighbor, invite your boss, invite your cousin, invite, invite your husband, your kids. Bring them out. Um, we're excited to have an amazing dinner and to just teach your friends and family um, how they continue, how they can have amazing health and how you can continue um, to have amazing health. We love you guys. We love taking care of you. Um, and we'll be back soon with more recipes. Thanks, you guys.